Hey folks, this is Matt once again for another review, this time of Underworld 3, Rise of the Lycans. More of a rant because I don't, this is one of those movies I didn't feel, there's one thing I didn't mind. It was Michael Sheen as the werewolf guy Lucian who you saw in the first movie and this is his story. But I didn't give a shit about his story. Like, to me, everything you hear in this movie, everything you see in this movie, you already got in this movie. The backstory of this movie. You already know there's nothing else that they show that's like, oh, wow, that brought anything to the table, that brought any point in having this film made. It's a pointless movie. And again, Michael Sheen, I think he did a good job acting wise. You know, I liked his character. That's really it. I mean, there's nothing much else to, to say about it other than that. It's it's a prequel. I'm not a big fan of prequels. Very rarely does a prequel work. I mean, I like missing the match into the beginning, which at first wasn't meant to be a prequel. It was meant to be the first one. Then they didn't like it as much as the sequel, so they made the sequel the first one, and they made Missing Action made it into two, the beginning. I like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, which is technically a prequel because it takes place years before Raiders of Lost Ark. I don't know why they did that. Someone told me, well, because they didn't want to use Nazis. I mean, you don't have to use Nazis. You can still have it take place after Raiders of Lost Ark and not have Nazis in it. But they made it take place before Ra 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 Raiders of Lost Ark, so it became a prequel. So, technically, I like that prequel. Other than that, very rarely do I like a prequel. You have the Star Wars prequels, you have the Thane prequel, you have Prometheus, Alien Covenant. I know there's more that I can't remember. Well, this is another one of them. Rona Mitra. She's in this as the daughter of the head vampire, Bill Nye. For those who don't know, Rona Mitra, she was the model for Laura Croft around 97 or 98. And then for some reason, someone thought she could act. She was, she was in Doomsday and this Beowulf movie with Christopher Lambert. And I'm sorry, she can't act. She's terrible. It's almost as if they said, we need someone that kind of looks like Kate Beckinsale, but not really... So let's get Rona Mitra. She sucked in Doomsday. She sucks in this. You have this goofy looking scene where they're looking through the cells and there's this werewolf with this human baby there. And I don't know, it just made me laugh because it may seem as if, oh, she, this werewolf pooped out a baby. <laughs> That's not exactly what happened. Well, I just gave birth, but. I did just the way it was the werewolf like here and the baby's like right here. It just was she pooped out a baby. I just it made me laugh. Maybe I'm the only only person that would do that. But this baby is Lucian, who is Bill Nye lets him live. He's enslaved. He makes him turn into other werewolves because before that, werewolves were only beasts. They could never be human again. But now, here, they could turn from human to werewolf. Except if they wear this collar. If they wear this collar, then they can't turn. And they're going to enslave these guys and make Lucian turn other people into werewolves so that they could be guards during the day and be their slaves. And you find out that he's in love with Bill Nye's daughter, played by Rona Mitra, who's a vampire. He wants her to run away with him. He has a lot more horrible CGI. That's the thing. At least the first two Underworld films, they kind of toned down the CG. And there's a lot more practical werewolves. Here, they seem like a lot more CGI werewolves. And they're really, really bad looking. Like they're chasing this guy on a horse. Do you think it's a guy? And then Lucian saves, shoots these three werewolves, and you find out it's a girl, Mona Mitra. 
They have this sex scene which is weirdly shot because it keeps fading in and out. It's like fade in, fade out, fade in, fade out, fade in, fade out, fade in, fade out. Oh, you don't fade in, fade out. I mean, you're making me dizzy. Rowan and Mitra meets with some humans. I guess they don't give them some humans as a deal so they don't fuck with them. Some werewolves are coming out of the ground. Lucian stops them. And yeah, she takes off the collar, which he's not supposed to, to scare the other werewolves away. Bill Nye doesn't like that, whips the shit out of him. He becomes friends with this big guy, this human, which actually you see him in the, the first movie. And at first he's human, but he's going to be bitten and be part of his clan. This is Uprising, a bunch of them try to escape, a few of them do escape. The vampires are shooting them with these big crossbows. They hit some of them, including one guy gets hit in the head with a big crossbow. CGI effect. He says, when they get outside, we're going to go from castle to castle, camp to camp. And if people want to join me, fine, and your reward will be immortality. So at least he gives them a choice. If you don't want to join, fine. If you do, you can get immortality. He goes back alone to get his woman. He gets her, but then they're trapped in these pits and fire's coming. They're throwing down fire. So they gotta jump up onto the surface. She's fighting with a sword. Has her father dead the rights. Tells him, hey, I'm pregnant. Pisses him off more. They get captured. He has some effects where she slices some folks in the neck. After she's captured, they decide to tie her up, burn her while Lucian wa watches. Which you saw that in this movie. In a flashback to this movie. So you already saw this. So what is this movie really telling you that you didn't already know if you saw this movie? Nothing. It doesn't tell you anything new. It doesn't tell you anything intriguing. It doesn't tell you anything interesting. That's what I mean. It's a pointless fucking prequel. It's like, well, we want to do another Underworld movie, but maybe at this point they could not get Kate Beckinsale, so fuck it, let's make a prequel so we'll keep the franchise name alive. And this is not a story that needed to be told. And Rona Mitra sucks. The only character I like, Michael Sheen did good, but he can't save the movie. There's a lot, of, there's a lot more bad CGI than there was in the first two movies. The finale, and also you know how it's going to end, because you know that Bill Nye's character can't die, because they've become now mortal enemies, and it's not that satisfying when you get a movie that's trying to build up these two mortal enemies, and one can't kill the other, because if they did, that would negate the f <laughs> this movie. So you already know that Bill Nye's the guy who killed his woman and his unborn baby. And so Michael Sheen has a lot to, a lot of stuff in his basement to go after Bill Nye. But then that just makes this one unsatisfying because that character, Michael Sheen, he just gets shot in the back and doesn't have a final confrontation with Bill Nye in this movie. So when you rewatch this film, you go, well, that was a lame way for that character to go out. And then the battle between him and Bill Nye in here was lame. It was just they're going a little bit back and forth. They go down this pit with these chains. He hits Bill Nye. Granted, stabs him in the mouth with a sword. Bill Nye falls. He gets away. Gets sealed away. Goes off. So it's not a satisfying ending, and it can't be a satisfying ending because you have all these other fucking films to get to. So, again, that makes the this film fucking pointless. I'll at least give it this. It's only 90-some minutes long with the end credits. So, it's like an hour and 20-some with, without the end credits. But it just... This is one of those movies. It was pointless. It was useless. It was unnecessary 
a lot of bad CGI. Rotor Matrix sucked. It was an uninteresting story that maybe could have been interesting if you had a better cast of supporting characters, a satisfying ending. If it wasn't a fucking prequel to these movies and had if you had an, a knockdown dread out battle that actually resulted in the death of this guy who killed, you know, the woman he loved and his unborn baby and more practical effects. Patrick Tatopoulos, he directed it. I thought his direction was kind of bleh. Mediocre. Yeah, I just didn't care for this film. I, until I saw Blood Wars, this was, I, until I saw Blood Wars, I thought this was the worst one. At, at least this one, I liked Michael Sheen as the lead guy, the werewolf. Blood Wars, I didn't like anything. I didn't like a single thing in that movie. So, it, to me, it's one of the worst ones. It's a piece of shit movie. It's a boring ass movie. And I'll never watch it again. I have no reason to watch this film ever again. But the, so, those are my thoughts. I'm sorry. If you disagree, oh well. Then I disagree with you. We agree to disagree. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.